Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically, Houston, Texas. I've just checked my phone, and you guys have voted to send me to Corpus Christi, Texas, and we will be headed to Corpus Christi very shortly. But first, I uh, caught wind of an attraction here in Houston that I wanted to check out uh, before we headed out to Corpus Christi, and that is Candy Topia. This is a candy museum, a candy-based attraction, or a candy wonderland, according to that sign. So I could not leave Houston without experiencing an advertised Candy Wonderland. So we're gonna check out Candytopia, and after that we will head to the city of Corpus Christi. So please, without further ado, follow me. And of course, stay tuned to the end of the video where I will give you the next selections on where you can vote to send me in the Choose My Adventure road trip. Here we are at the gates of Candytopia. Here we have a unicorn with severe diarrhea. Now, when I was in Dallas last time, I visited an attraction called Rainbow Vomit. I guess this is the equivalent. It is Rainbow Diarrhea. All right, so we have stepped here into Candytopia, the little city of candy. Here, oh my goodness. Wow, a zipper emporium for some reason. I don't know why they have a zipper store in the candy world. We have these giant stacks of macaroons. Oh, and down here we have a, a jelly bean cowboy. I guess that fits with the Texas theme. There's a big treasure chest full of candy. It says only take a few, so I won't be I won't be too greedy there. The world will never know. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and candy connoisseurs of all ages. Welcome to Candytopia! Now, before you begin your tour, let's go over a few important rules to make sure your journey is truly delectable. Feel free to touch and interact with the candy displays, but please be gentle. Candy has feelings too. Further, please do not attempt we can to touch lick, it. eat, or bite any no, of the displays. Gross. They are covered in so much shellac you'll probably break a tooth. And also, ew. <laughs> now, without further ado, we hope your flavor receptors are primed and you are ready for an experience unlike any other. Welcome, everyone, to the tantalizingly twisted world of Candy Tokyo! Topia. 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 To see all of y'all here this fine morning, this fine morning in you. Now that you guys know who I am, I'm Cheryl very eager to meet my friends. Allow me to introduce them to y'all. This right over here is my pet fox, Mr. Fox the Fox. I've known him since he was just a little baby out in the wilderness, and he followed me home because I'm decent baby in my pocket, and he was hungry. He is three years old now, he is a big boy, but you know what? No matter how old he gets, he's always gonna be my baby. And this big, beautiful beast is, this is my partner, Aurora. She is the other guardian of Candy Topia, along with being the sweetest girl I've ever met, made out of over 125,000 pieces of 
from Candy from her head to her tail and even her wings. All right, chaos reigns. We have a candy fox here, and they said we are allowed to pet and touch. It's got candy corn on a, got a candy corn on the tail. Mostly uh, jelly beans, though. Got the candy dragon there. Oh, look at all the different types of candy. It's like Twizzler detail. It's pretty, pretty cool. Of the match happens. I wasn't kidding when I said my secret stash of candy could be in the ceiling right up there. The oh. ceiling right up there. I do have some chocolate up there for y'all. I've got some milk chocolate and dark chocolate. Once it's come to a complete stop all the way down here, that's when y'all guys can come up and help yourselves to a few pieces. Now the pink wrapped chocolate is the milk and the blue wrapped chocolate is deep dark. And you guys can come up now and help yourselves to a few pieces. I know both of y'all. Two, five, Wonderland. Come on in, everybody. Come oh, wow. on in. Oh, here we go. Look at this. We have a candy tree. You can see her candy eyes, candy mouth. Some other candy creatures there. Got the candy snail with the, uh, looks like uh, gummy bears. Uh, it's really cool. And the gummy grasshopper there. There's flower here. A little pump action going. Oh, and it smells like bubble gum. It's spraying bubble gum smell at me. All right, these domes have some sounds when you go underneath them. Can you hear that? large amount of candy being given away here. Another treasure chest full of candy and actually the treasure chest is lined with gummy bears. The green screen right here and actually scan your QR code and it will take your picture for you. Now entering the jungle area of Candytopia. Oh, looks like we got a stegosaurus been a lot of dinosaurs popping up on this road trip, I'd say. There's a Komodo dragon. It says, please be gentle, do not pick at the sculpture, which is fair. So yeah, we are allowed to pet, to pet the candy monster. We just can't pick at him. Some what are these sweet tarts here? A lot of jelly beans and gummy bears used in these sculptures. As we walk along the path here, see the king, the king of the jungle, the lion here. And you can see his mane is made of gummy worms. Through these beads, looks like we have an art museum. We have a. Uh, Andy Warhol-esque painting. No, oh, just call me Candy Warhol. That's that's a, that pun's on point. We have the Mona Lisa there. I guess these are emojis. And then uh, Marilyn Monroe made of good and plenties. There we have the Grand Canyon there and Frida Kahlo. We have the Thinker. The thinker there, as he thinks on top of a pile of crushed peeps. All the great works of art here, the scream. Isn't this the uh, gasoline Pegasus? What gas station has a Pegasus for its, uh, for its logo? I forget. And then we have Statue of Liberty. 
not sure what this painting is. Is this a famous painting? And we have Prince. Oh, he's made out of licorice. Got a licorice hair. There's Starry Night. What's that say? Does that say dope? Dope, maybe? And that's that the girl, the girl with the pearl earring. And the King of Candy himself, Mr. Willy Wonka, one of my personal heroes. There's the Great Sphinx. Get a closer look. He's got a little cobra on his hat there. Now we find ourselves under the sea. Have the uh, scuba man there, made of candy. Love these old timey scuba suits. It's a candy lobster or a rock candy lobster, if you will. Like the hammerhead shark here. It's got dead eyes. Black, like a doll's eyes. Oh, there's a crusty old crab there. It's a manta ray. What candy do we have in this room? Looks like some gold doubloons. I think these are like chocolate coins. Oh, check out this shark here. And then some wonderful little seahorses. All right, what's this? What's in this room? Oh, I don't see any candy, but we have this freaky glowing gateway. Oh, here we have some pixie stick. Really just tubes, tubes full of sugar. And here's a big Texan steer right there. And I don't know why they necessarily felt the need to make him uh, anatomically correct, you know, make the candy bull parts there. Here we have some trippy, mind-melting backdrops here. You have the flying pigs. You have the unicorn with diarrhea. <laughs> Looks like we have a giant beach ball here. Optical illusion. We can scan our QR code and get our picture emailed to us. Okay. Hello. Oh, jeez! So much confetti. Oh my gosh! What a what a celebration! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> What's that? Got, got leaf blowers? Oh my god! Oh, it's hilarious. It's amazing. Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it's amazing. Oh, dear. Oh, look at that one. Okay, don't breathe in the confetti. So look at these pig butts right here. Don't get too close, you say? Yeah. Okay, so you got these pig butt cannons ready. Oh! Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you're cleaning, help cleaning me off there? Oh yeah, that works. All the, all the confetti off. <laughs> Here we have uh, a party pig. He's joining our 
confetti party here. <laughs> Here's some uh, flying pigs and, and dresses. And below the flying pigs, we have our candy. We got some Twizzlers. They're just constantly cleaning up and redistributing the massive amount of confetti in here. All right, we got another QR photo off here. I'm thinking this must be a confetti cleaning device. Oh yeah, there you go, the fan. Those remaining bits of confetti off. Now during the pandemic, we had the restriction of many things, one of them including public ball pits. But here we are, we have a marshmallow pit. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've been in a pit. All right, headed into the, the pit here. They said no jumping, so I'm gonna wade in here easily. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's get uh, get in deeper here. We'll get through the, through the pit. All right, here we are. Just soak into the marshmallows. Let them envelop, envelop my body. Here. here we go. Oh, I can stay here forever. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh no, glasses. Oh, there we go. All right, so tell me this is a marshmallow cannon. We've got to fill it up with marshmallows, and we can get a good marshmallow blast. Marshmallow cannon back there. Oh, okay. let this unicorn into the into the marshmallow pit. He has diarrhea. Okay. <laughs> Can't forget our candy. And of course here in the gift shop if you haven't acquired enough candy during your uh, trip and stock up on some extra candy here. And this candy elephant wishes us a good day here at Candytopia. All right, so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> They really, uh, that was, yeah, that, you know, we see a lot of these selfie museums pop up. That one definitely had, had its game upped with the confetti room and the uh, marshmallow uh, ball pit. So very cool, but no more time to waste. We got to head down to Corpus Christi, Texas. Here in Sugarland, Texas, we have this very dramatic scene going on in the fountain, this cowboy trying to pull the horse that's sinking in to this bottomless pit. Kind of reminds me of the scene in Never Ending Story when the horse sinks in the swamp. And this here is a fairly interesting statue. A statue of uh, two girls taking a selfie in front of the Sugarland uh, City Hall there.
little art gallery right here. In the window, you have a woman with antlers. And her baby has antlers too. It's almost like that one, uh, one Netflix show with the deer boy. And I could not leave Texas without stopping here. One of my favorite barbecue places in the entire country, Rudy's Country Store. Yeah, here at Rudy's, you just go up to the counter and you order your food by weight. You just tell them how much of what meat you want and they'll weigh it out and serve it to you. All right, so your food here is served in this plastic crate. I got the moist brisket. You actually choose if you want the regular brisket or the moist brisket. I always get moist if it's an option. It's got the fat on there. It's extra delicious. I swear by moist brisket. I also got myself half a sausage. Love the barbecue sausage here in Texas. Of course, you just get uh, a stack of bread. Got some potato salad as well. A pile of pickles. Rudy's barbecue sauce there. We'll add a little bit of that. Right, this moist, this moist brisket like falls apart. Let's see there. Some of the best brisket in the world here. All right, the sausage. Mm. 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 Sausage is unbelievable. You just have some plain white bread to go with it. Mm. A little pickle. This is this is this is a, this is a glorious meal right here. Here is the teepee hotel. You can see the individual little teepees. There's also giant arrows stuck in uh, in the ground. I'd actually well, I wanted to stay here, but online it said uh, that they were closed. But it actually, looks like they may be open. So yeah, this is not connected to the wigwam villages that are in uh, California, Arizona, and Kentucky. Um, this is a separate uh, grouping of teepees. Uh, like I said, I wanted to stay here, but I, uh, when I looked online, everything said it was closed down. There's an RV park back there, which is definitely in operation, and there was cars parked in, a couple, in front of a couple of the teepees, so it looks like it may be open. Unfortunately, if I would have known that, I probably would have slept here and been able to show you guys uh, what these look like inside. Yeah, there are some vehicles here outside the front of the teepees. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing that they're open. Now I did book a hotel already in Corpus Christi. So we may have to check on the teepees next time. We've stopped off here in Wharton, Texas at Dinosaur Park. And we went to a dinosaur park a few days ago that had a whole bunch of dinosaurs. This park, uh, they just got one, but it's pretty cool. Check out the kind of interesting dinosaur here. I'm guessing it's some sort of Brontosaurus. While crawling around, under the dinosaur, I noticed something. Let's check this out. Yeah, there's a hole in the bottom of the dinosaur. We can check and see what's inside of the dinosaur. Oh, can't quite get my head up in there, but you can look around. That's what a dinosaur looks like on the inside. So 
we've landed here right outside of Corpus Christi. I'm gonna be checking into my hotel room in just a moment and we'll be heading into the city of Corpus Christi tomorrow. But before I did, I, I did want to address something. I've been checking the comments from uh, yesterday's video when I went to the uh, Space Center Houston and I did want to address something. I apparently don't know how space rockets work. Um, I got a lot a lot of comments on that I gave some bad information. Um, the 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 shuttle on the back of the plane. I for some reason I had in my head that the plane flew to space and then the shuttle came off and like that, like kept going into space. That's not what happens. Uh, apparently, the reason the shuttle's on the back of a plane has nothing to do with launching or landing. That's simply how they get a space shuttle um, from one place to another. I guess. They move shuttles back and forth uh, between uh, between Houston, between Florida, or when a, when a shuttle lands, they need to move it somewhere else. That's why it's on the back of a plane. It has nothing to do with being launched into space. See, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert in space. I'm not an expert in a lot of things. In fact, I may be an expert in nothing. But, um, so a lot of times when I go to these places, I don't have a lot of, you know, back knowledge necessarily. I don't have a that great of an understanding of how things work but I felt like that was fairly egregious so I do want to apologize for that uh, particular um, mistake uh, so yeah hopefully uh, you can forgive me I will try to I'll try to do a little better I'll try to do a little better and not get things quite as wrong as I got that one um, also I, I wanted to say I am going to be I think I'm going to be finding this confetti on my body for the rest of my life every time I take something out of my pocket it explodes with confetti but we did have a good we did have a good time at uh, Candy Tobia but it will cause me to be covered in confetti for the rest of my life um, so next vote is up uh, where you guys want to send me now I did want to put an asterisk here. I don't know. I am way south in Texas right now. So to get to the next city may be a bit of a drive. It may be a bit of a drive. So I'm not guaranteeing that I can necessarily make it to these places in one day. But you can vote on where my next uh, destination will be. I will, whatever you guys pick, I will head in that direction until I get there. So the choices are... Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, Amarillo, Texas, or Roswell, New Mexico. You guys can go and vote right now. Uh, if you click the subscriber tab, if you're subscribed to me, the poll should be right there. Otherwise, if you want to go to my YouTube page and click on the community tab, you could also find it right there. I appreciate you guys coming along with me on this adventure. It has been quite an adventure so far, and it's super cool to have you guys riding along in the back seat with me. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. Also selling enamel pins and Etsy shop. All that information is in the description of each video. And it just helps keep this train on the tracks, this boat on the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until tomorrow morning, my friends, this one's in the bag.